And welcome back, fellow Wastelanders. Uh, guest Gex here again, um, doing a bit of the Fallout New Vegas um, yet again. If you bear with me two seconds, I've just forgotten something. All right, sorry about that, I'll probably edit that out. But anyway, um, yeah, in the last part, we just finished our sort of training missions, if you like. We've got our training bra off at last, and we were about to talk to Senor Thorn, shady dude here. Who is, uh, well, anyway, you'll, you'll find Hello? out. Can you help me? Can you help me? What's wrong? My girl is trapped by geckos on the ridge, and I can't get to her. Please, she's going to die. Oh, no! Go up the path, past the broken radio tower, and go to the right. <gasps> They're at the top There's of the There's a powder ganger in the background, wandering along. I wonder, why is he coming over here? They don't normally stray this far. I'll see what I can do. Anyway, we're going to help this, this guy's girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, as if. Um, and we'll find out what he's hiding. You will? Thank you for helping me. Please hurry. That's interesting. Why is this dude coming over here? Oh god. Oh god, if they start kicking off, please don't start fighting. Why is he over here? That's really bizarre. You eyeballing me. Now this is a powder ganger. Now these are escaped prisoners. He's wearing the NCR, oh, NCRCF, which is the uh, New. Oh, where's he going? New California hey. Republic um, Correctional Facility. He got stuck in a tire. I'm really tempted to actually kill him because. I'm going to try and do it quietly, because he's got a varmin rifle. Which I would absolutely love. And if you can kill him without getting spotted, I may redo this, but we'll see. Sweet. We gained karma, and I'm hoping... Yeah. Definitely worth always doing this, because they do just have so much cack. I'm just going to quickly wander over here because I don't think anyone spotted me. Barton Thorn doesn't seem to give a hoot. I'm just going to quickly wander this way because I know there's a couple more over here. And if they're green dots instead of red dots, it means that, yeah, green dots, it means they don't care. They obviously didn't see me. They only become hostile if other one. Okay. If other ones, um, gene skydiving, if other people of that faction spot you doing anything that you shouldn't be doing, and at the moment, as they didn't, they're still green, which means they're not hostile. But if I had killed, say if I killed one of those powder gangers, if I killed one in front of the other one, then all powder gangers would be enemies, I think. Something like that, anyway. But if you can kill them individually and quietly, then no one knows, which is kind of realistic, and I like that. Now we come into the gene skydiving room not for long and there is a whoop where is it gone there's a bottle cap thing and a key and the key is for the locker over here which you can pick or you can just do that I'm gonna grab this stuff just because I mean we might as well they're just cases and stuff it's in this one leather armor which is always good because we can repair our own armor with that I believe that's all there is in here you may notice there it says you take a trusty sip, blah blah blah. Now what that is, that's one of the packs, I don't know which one, possibly classic pack, I don't know, in which we've actually got, um, um, sorry, just going to save quickly, friggin' seagulls, in which we've got um, this, this hip flask essentially, and it's like a bottomless hip flask, and it helps with our H2O meter, but it won't completely restore it. Um, so it's not, you know, it's not like a game-breaking kind of easy thing, but it does help. It certainly helps. Uh, right, I'm going to repair though. Actually, no, I'm going to repair. I don't know which one the nicked one is. Uh, that one? I don't know. Anyway, we've repaired that, and we're going to repair our varmint rifle, and we're also going to strap a mod onto that. Uh, and I believe that's pretty much all we can do. Yeah, so we can use that later on to help repair our own armour, so yeah. So yeah, this dude, so yeah, he's, he's dead and nobody saw that, thankfully. 
It's also another little good touch is you can take his, you could, if you wanted, I could take that Powder Ganger outfit and put it on. And even if the Powder Gangers were hostile to me, as long as I was wearing that and didn't get too close to them. What's he kicking off about? Something scared him. Please hurry. She's on the what range. What are you doing? Broken radio tower. Pushing one out, are you? You just gotta. Okay, he's back to normal. He. Is he just. Uh, is he left a present on the doormat. Right. Anyway, we're gonna head up here. Oh, that's probably why he's kicking off. I do love the way they run. It is funny. Anyway, past the radio, broken radio antenna, which is up here. And then we go a little bit further forward, and then we, oh, there's a gecko, and then we go up to the right, and there's a big gecko who will try and eat our face. Oh my god, I was expecting that to do a bit more damage. There we go. Yeah. And we do need to get our survival up just so that um, we can make gecko steaks, because they are, they're essential if you're playing it really on hardcore mode because they are a good source of food right now the thing is it says oh yeah right he's a slightly bigger one my god look at that yeah he's not a babby he's a big one missed ow he didn't oh I see I always feel bad killing them when they're like covering their eyes and stuff I'm tumbling away. Nice. Yeah, there we go. Sweet. See, it's gone all Skyrim now, you see. You've even got the block and everything else. Uh, not Skyrim, Oblivion, even. Elder Scrolls, is that it? Shite. Right, I'm going to use... This. Boom. Oh, my God. He's a big one. Um... Ow! Way, my word, he's a he's a large chap, isn't he? That's a head. I thought he was actually chasing me, but it's not. Oh dear. He's obviously crippled because he can't run properly. Oh my god, he's hardly. I must have missed him completely with the uh, grenade. There we go. He's dead. And no. Ow. There we go. Oh, there's another one. There is another one. Oh, he's obviously been injured as well. Because they can't walk very far. It's, it's what I mean. It is definitely worth crippling limbs. Because it does make a big difference. A lot of people say, oh, you know, just go for the headshot. Or centre of mass or whatever. But it's definitely worth crippling limbs. Yeah, level up. Sweet. So, we said we were going to put on five on there. So we can start picking some locks. No, not that one. Uh, that so we can start hacking some computers. That so we've got the basic speech challenge and one on there. Oh, and that was it. There we go. Sweet. So we've got that's a nice. Yeah, that's nice. Urgh. See, that's quite good. Um, but then intense training is just amazing because you can just stick on more points. Oh, hang on. Friend of the night. Yeah, I always go for this one. Swift learner would be better, I know, but I don't care. Friend of the night, because it gives you low light, high conditions. Except the game probably won't load this or won't kick in till the next night, probably. But anyway. There we go. So it makes it easier to see at night time. Look at that. You can see for miles. Genius. Um, Right, you have to be a little bit careful here, because there's bear traps. There we go. And because my repair is a certain number, it means we can disarm them. Uh, yeah, we'll take that. Now, we're going to have a visitor in a minute. But anyway, this is the second part, or second of the Wild Wasteland traits. Now, this is a reference to, like, oh, I didn't mean to do that. This, the balls and that, is actually a reference to a an explanation that a game designer gave about a particular game 
which um, I can't remember what it's called now, but he gave a very complicated and kind of really weird description of how this game was supposed to work, and it involved balls sort of replacing each other in a line. But anyway, also, coincidentally, those balls point exactly towards the fridge that we saw the Indiana Jones skeleton thing in earlier. So, uh, yeah, there you go. Ugh. There are several more of the wild wasteland traits, which you'll, which you'll see. Uh, no. I believe that's all of them. Here's the remains of various horrible people. Now, when we start going back down there, as I say, we're going to have a visitor. We're going to meet somebody, the guy that sent us up here. So I'm going to change on to that. Um, because, as I say, we've gone up there and there's no girl. So what's going on here? Sorry, I tricked you. You but dirty bounder! Now I can get to that stash up there. After I except do, the stash you. is gone. You dirty bounder! Hey. And he goes for the draw, but but his head popped. So annoying when you do that. You go to draw a weapon and then your head just explodes. What a shame. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, yes, yes. There we go. It's worth collecting scrap metal later on, I have to say, just because um, uh, you need you need it to make repair kits, and repair kits are just crucial. Hang on, let me just do a bit of uh, a bit of repairing. Talking of repairing, uh, I don't think there's anything else we can do. Is there new? No. Oh. Uh, which is better out of those two? They're exactly the same. There we go. Right, um, what to do now? Well, that's our first sort of mission out of the way. I might actually uh, have a. I might actually kip over here for a little bit. I also want to find out quickly what survival we need to be able to make those gecko steaks because we're going to need them. We will need it. Come on. Uh, see all these things, and most of these, when you play the very first version of, of uh, New Vegas that comes out, most of these aren't on here. A lot of these are just stuff from the DLC. Um, right, Gecko. Where are you? There you are. We need. Where is it? Oh god, 25! Freaking hell. I could take, actually. What's it called? Is it called Lad's Life or something like that? I, think. Oh, I haven't got one. Damn it. Okay, we haven't got one. Never mind. You can take Lad's Life and it, it pumps your skill up by 10 points, which would be just enough to make the old gecko sticks. In the meantime, we're going to kip till morning. So we'll do, what, I don't know, nine hours or so. Um, and while that's waiting, I shall check. My... Sweet. Oh. Hello there. Oh, here we, we go. Face? Almost took you for a raider, I did. He woke me up. Malcolm Holmes. Don't suppose you care to trade? I'm missing a few essentials and ah, oh, screw this. Lying just ain't in my nature. I'll tell it to you straight. I've been following you for a good bit now. <laughs> Malcolm, Malcolm Holmes. I forgot he just appears out of nowhere. So I have had playthroughs where he's never appeared. But anyway, why were you following me and why did you wake me up? It started off innocently enough. I was traveling, as I often do, and happened to observe you picking up one of those blue star caps. Mm -hmm. You didn't show any reaction to it, so I figured you didn't know what you'd gotten your hands on. What's so special about these caps? This is getting creepy. I'm leaving. Don't follow me. Uh... Yeah. There's an old wasteland legend that says somewhere out there is a fabulous treasure from before the war. Those caps with the blue star on them, the tale goes, are the key to that treasure. They're called Sunset Sarsaparilla Stars. Where can I find more of these caps? Because I need some to um, give to Festus. All over the place. The easiest place to find them is unopened bottles of Sunset really Sarsaparilla. You'd think they'd all have been picked clean by now, but somehow new bottles keep appearing in the machines. Some say it's old Festus that does it hoping someone will finally collect enough caps to earn the treasure. Other than bottles, you'll just have to scavenge. 
You can find caps in the unlikeliest of places, and Blue Star caps are no exception. You mentioned someone named Festus. Who's that? What kind of treasure is where? Yeah, it's on it. It's said that the treasure is guarded by a man named Festus, and he's the one who asked for the Blue Star caps. It's also said he's been around since the war, standing a lonely vigil, waiting for someone to come and take the treasure off his hands. That'll make him pretty damn old, but I've met a few people in my travels who claim they actually met him. Why have you got three wristwatches on? Either. New York, Tokyo, and Paris. Uh... <clears throat> nah, I gave it up years ago. Too dangerous. And even if I did still collect them, I tell you the same. There's people out there so mad with the idea of treasure that they'll attack strangers just on the suspicion. <laughs> and that talking of which, steps. I'm about to murder you, right? Now, bit of backstory here. This dude, um, he will wander off now, and if you just let him go, you will never see him again. And he is carrying several of these bottle caps that are very hard to find, and um, you get them sometimes when you drink a Sunset Sarsaparilla. There are some dotted about individually around the map. I have had people say that your luck will affect how many uh, caps you find when you drink when you're drinking them, but uh, I don't think that's true because uh, it takes forever, even with like ten out of ten luck. But anyway. So, even though I said I was going to be nice this playthrough, and I am going to try and be nice and get decent karma, I know I've stolen some stuff, I'm going to have to murder this guy, because he's carrying several of these caps. Um, so, yeah. No problem. If you do end up trying to collect more stars, watch out for a man named Alan Marks. Alan Marks. Well, I'm afraid you're about to get murdered too. I'm sorry, Malcolm, but this is just the way things have to be. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Wee flump. I'm sorry, but as I say, I had to because not only well, he's got that as well. He's got those rounds, which are quite expensive. Normal bottle caps. He's carrying six of them. I mean, really, I had to do that. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, Malcolm. Let's put him behind the cover so I don't have to look at him and I won't feel so guilty. There we go. Malcolm was never here. Right. Um, I'm going to pause there and save the game and um, join me again in a couple of minutes and I shall, or for the next part and I shall see you then. Thank you for watching. Hopefully there'll be a bit less murdering innocent people next time. So yeah, see you next time.